we want to get right to that breaking news. We're going to look live now at that Italian town of Amatrice. Deadly earthquake struck overnight. Town reduced to rubble right there. And take a look at these before and after photos. The before on the right, that utter devastation on the left. Here's what we know right now. The 6.2 magnitude quake hit around 3.30 a.m. local time. The death toll is climbing. Dozens already confirmed dead. An Italian seismologist says there have been at least 150 tremors since. The aftershocks felt all the way in Rome. Hit such a wide part of the country. Pope is speaking out this morning, saying he's deeply saddened, praying for the victims. Also thanking volunteers and rescuers who've rushed in to help. The quake hit central Italy, felt more than 100 miles away. ABC's Terry Moran is there with the latest. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, George. Well, the quake was felt here in Rome for about 30 seconds or so of swaying and shaking, but at the epicenter, about 100 miles northeast of here, it lasted for a terrifying 142 seconds. And as you point out, it happened in the middle of the night, the worst time. Everyone in their beds, rescue workers now flooding the scene, desperately trying to save lives. Overnight, a deadly earthquake bringing down buildings in central Italy. Rescue crews are still scouring the debris this morning. They're looking for anyone who may still be trapped. This woman was pulled from the rubble alive. Walls of buildings are completely gone. On this building, only the wall remains. The 6.2 magnitude quake struck just after 3.30 in the morning. The electricity had gone, nobody could see anything. Some people grabbed their phones. We were able to make our way down the stairs into the garden. Many people spent the night outside as the aftershocks came. It's quite severe shaking of the bed. The first thing I did was panic, and we waited for it to just subside to go and check on our children. In Rome, about 100 miles northeast, buildings shook for nearly 30 seconds. One local mayor saying half his town is gone. The Italian government says the damage is severe. They're sending heavy equipment to clear wreckage in the popular Italian summer resort town. In 2009, central Italy was hit by a 6.3 magnitude quake. That one killed over 300 people in demolished towns. No major city was struck by this quake, but that devastation region is a region of picturesque hilltop towns, ancient construction, stone houses, very vulnerable to quakes, as after every earthquake it is now a race against time. We're joined now by Michael Gilroy, who is right in the middle of the quake. Michael, thank you for joining us this morning. So you're in the town of Montepulciano uh, in a hotel, what, on the second floor? Yeah, that's right. So what happened? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, just before 4 o'clock in the morning, uh, and, you know, we felt kind of the best way to describe it is a rolling of the bed, uh, which quickly turned into a shake. And, uh, you know, we gathered our stuff and ran out as quick as we could with everyone else. Did you know right away it was an earthquake? D didn't know right away, actually. Uh, and my first thought was that it was a medical emergency of some sort, um, traveling with my girlfriend and um, realized that wasn't the case. And then, uh, you know, on the way out, we saw a pretty big chandelier swaying from side to side. And that's when uh, I think that's when we knew for sure. What's the scene like there right now? Yeah, yeah, the the destruction looks pretty devastating. Um, you know, it looks like there are multiple homes that have come down completely uh, into the roads and uh, really just a terrible scene. So is the village just locked in right now because there's so much destruction? That's what it looks like. Um, you know, these, these roads are very, very narrow and uh, the homes are built on top of each other and they're all brick. And uh, when, when they come down, there's not a lot of space in between. Uh, are you going to be able to stay in your hotel? Is there is is it avoided enough damage so you can actually stay there? Will you, or, or are you guys trying to get out? We we had actually planned on leaving. Uh, we had a car come at six in the morning, and um, you know we're fortunate enough to be able to get out, and so we've uh, headed down south, uh, away from that region. But the the Quake region is pretty large, isn't it? It seems to be. Uh, you know, we're in the middle of Tuscany, uh, which is obviously a, you know, a big destination, and it seems like a lot of people were affected all the way down to Rome, which is where we are now. Well, we're you're glad you're okay, Michael. Thanks for getting out, and thanks for sharing your story this morning. Yep, thanks for having me. Well, you see so many of those old buildings just crumble. And it's just so awful that it happened when it happened, when people mm. were in their
In Amatrice, they dug by hand. A woman pulled out of the rubble, dazed and exhausted, but safe. Elsewhere in the town, once picturesque streets and homes have been turned inside out. With roads blocked, getting help to the town is proving difficult. There are several uh, small cities and villages in the Rieti province, like uh, Amatrice, that are uh, half destroyed or more than half destroyed. So now the, 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 the thing that we are doing are, is sending their search and rescue teams because it's fundamental to, to support and find survivals at the moment. Some heavy equipment is being used, but more is needed. Across the region, dozens of small hillside towns all look like this. We have a daughter here and her boyfriend. We know they're being pulled out by the emergency services. I think their house has completely collapsed. Our house has just completely collapsed. Just myself, my husband and the dog. It was a house in the historic centre. All the other houses have collapsed. I didn't see anybody. I didn't see my mother, my brothers, but I have spoken to them. The earthquake struck at 3.30 local time. There was no warning. People were asleep. Among the confirmed dead is a family of four found in the rubble of their home. <laughs> Tremors of this 6.2 magnitude earthquake were felt in Rome, 90 miles away. This is the most powerful earthquake since 2009, when one with a magnitude of 6.3 struck the city of L'Aquila. 300 people died. This area is far less densely populated, but the buildings are older and less stable. Prime Minister Matteo Renzi says excavation equipment is on its way. Meanwhile, in Amatrice, the search for survivors continues. The town clock frozen at the time the earthquake hit and power was cut. Joe Tidy, Sky News.